Hi guys, it's me Teacher Gon. I hope you will learn something from this video. And don't forget to like, subscribe on my YouTube channel. Thank you. Hi guys, it's me Teacher Gon. So kung bago kayo sa akin channel, please subscribe to my channel para mas updated kayo sa ating mga YouTube videos. So nandito kayo tayo ngayon para pag-aralan or i-discuss yung tatlong topics or tatlong question na pili ko for the MTOP reviewer para sa grade 8, grade 8 team orals. Ito ay last 2018. So, itong video natin ngayon will focus on the average round. So, I have here three questions na pagkakasyahin natin sa time natin. So, we have here the expression in number 1. Write the expression x raised to negative 1 y raised to negative 1 over x raised to negative 1 plus y raised to negative 1 raised by negative 1. So, how to simplify this kind of expression within 45 seconds? Tama ba ako? Parang 45 seconds or 30 seconds. So, ang gagawin nyo lang po, copyin muna natin. So, uh, though nalagpas ako sa oras na meron tayo, I hope you can um, memorize the steps or learn the steps on how to simplify this kind of expression. So, meron tayo rito ngayon, x raised to negative 1, y raised to negative 1, over x minus 1 plus y raised to negative 1. Raised to negative 1. When you apply loss of exponents, you can distribute or multiply this negative 1 to the exponents of the variables inside. So, ang gagawin natin dito ngayon, so the answer when you multiply them or you multiply the exponent negative 1, you will have x raised to 1, or simply x na lang. Ito to naman ay magiging y na lang. Kasi negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1, so no need to write 1. Your denominator, since they are separated by addition sign, ang mangyayari dyan, you will have x raised to negative 1 plus y raised to negative 1, and then in close parenthesis, raised to negative 1. So, yan yung pag apply kung paano i-multiply yung exponents dito. So, next naman natin, as you can see, you have here a negative exponent na kung saan, to make it a positive 1, ilipat natin sa, sa, sa numerator. So, you will have this as xy times x raised to negative 1 plus y raised to negative 1. So, ngayon, yung negative 1 natin kanina, nung nilipat natin ay naging positive 1 na. So, yun yung rule sa negative exponents. So, bubarin ko na yung 1 na yan. As you can see, ang meron na tayo ngayon dito is a parenthesis wherein you can multiply them. So, pag minultiply nyo to, itong xy sa x raised to negative 1, it will be xy times x raised to negative 1 plus xy times y raised to negative 1. Wherein, na kung saan, mapapansin nyo, sa term na to, yung x natin at ito, pag minultiply nyo, you will get this kind of a no value. x times x raised to negative 1, since parehas yung base natin, you can copy the base and add exponents. Remember, we have here 1. So, magiging 1 plus negative 1, in which 1 plus negative 1, that is equal to x raised to 0, and x raised to 0 is equal to 1. Meaning, kapag minultiply natin to. Kapag minultiply natin to, itong xy sa bawat term, sa unang term na makukuha natin, xy times x raised to negative 1 is simply y. And then ito naman, when you multiply xy to the to the second term, you will get plus x. Kasi yung y naman natin ay makakancel or mawawala. So, simplifying this one, or arrange lang natin, since we're following alphabetical order, the correct answer for item number 1 in the average round is simply x plus y. So, i-reveal natin yung tamang sagot. The answer is x plus y. So, let's go with item number 2 on the average round of MMC 2018 Division Orals or Team Orals 2018. Sabi dito, divide the square root of 6 plus the square root of 3 by the square root of 6 minus the square root of 3 
and express the quotient in simplest form. So sabi, divide daw natin yung radicals. We have here the square root of 6 plus the square root of 3 over the square root of 6 minus the square root of 3. Dito, you will apply rationalization. So, kung di nyo pa alam yun, you need to check out on my YouTube channel para maintindihan nyo how to rationalize a radical expression. Since dalawang terms to, to rationalize this one, you need to get the conjugate of the square root of 6 minus the square root of 3. Ang conjugate po niyan is simply square root of 6 plus the square root of 3. Anong gamit ngayon yan? You will multiply this whole expression using this conjugate. So, paano? Triyayin natin. So, we have the square root of 6 plus the square root of 3 over the square root of 6 minus the square root of 3 times square root of 6 plus the square root of 3 over the square root of 6 plus the square root of 3. So, you will multiply it, pero um, huwag na kayo mag-foil method or uh, huwag na kayo mag-foil method kasi you will consume time. Remember, in team orals, it is only 45 seconds or 30 seconds rather. Wala pang 1 minute. So, you will follow so, diba meron tayong ganito? Square root of 6 plus the square root of 3 times square root of 6 plus the square root of 3. Sinulat ko lang ha? Square root of 6 minus the square root of 3 times the square root of 6 plus the square root of 3. Ang gawin nyo lang po, for the numerator, you will follow the pattern A plus B times A plus B that is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And then for the denominator, kung mapansin nyo, yan ay difference of two squares. a minus b times a plus b, you will have a squared minus b squared. So for the numerator, their product is simply 6. Because when you multiply square root of 6 by the square root of 6, that is square root of 36. Therefore, square root of 36 is equal to 6. Nidiretso na natin. And then, this one, 2ab, so you, have, you will have plus 2 square root of 18. Okay, I hope you can still uh, catch up with me. And then, for the last one, you have b squared, so you have plus 3. Because the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is simply 9, and the square root of 9 is 3. Over, for your denominator, kopihin lang, you will have square root of 6 squared minus the square root of 3 squared. This is the answer. So you will have this as 9 plus 2 times 3 square root of 2. But naging ganyan? Kasi yung, nine, yung 18 natin can be factored out as the square root of 9 times 2. And remember, the square root of 9 is 3. So, you have 3 square root of 2. So, yan yung nangyari sa atin. For the denominator, you have 6 minus 3. So, simplify natin yung numerator natin. You will get 9 plus 6 times the square root of 2 over 3. At sabi sa problem natin, express the quotient in simplest form. So, kailangan natin i-check lagi kung ito ba yung naka-express in simplest form. Remember, 9 and 6 are div both divisible by 3. So, you will have 3 times 3 plus 2 square root of 2 over 3. Wherein you can cancel out 3, 3. Therefore, the answer for number 2 in lowest term or simplest form is simply 3 plus 2 square root of 2. This is the answer for item number 2 in the average round. So, try natin. Let's reveal the answer. Okay. So, that's it. Tama yung sagot natin. So, nakasunod pa ba tayo? So, kung meron kayong tanong about this question, mag-comment lang kayo sa baba. Let's go with item number 3. Buray muna natin to.
Okay. For item number 3, sabi dito, write an equation of the line that is parallel to the line 3x minus 2y plus 8 is equal to 0, which passes through the point negative 5 and 7. So, ang unang clue natin dito, the two lines are parallel to each other. So, meron tayong technique. Pero sulat mo na natin yung mga clue. You have 3x minus 2y plus 8 is equal to 0. And then the other point has the coordinate of negative 5, comma, 7. So, ang gagawin niya dito, since the two lines are parallel, you will have this pattern. Ito yung pattern. Kopihin niyo to kung ano yung first term at second term ng first equation na meron tayo. Yun na rin yung first term and second term ng pangalawang equation na inanap natin. So, you have 3x minus 2y. Ngayon. Eh, sir, paano yun? Paano sila magkakaiba? Ang pagkakaiba nila, you will use this part of the equation to find the constant of the other equation. So, we have 3x minus 2y. So, paano yan? Ang mangyari dito, you will use negative 5 and 7 for the value of x and for the value of y wherein you can get the constant. So, meron tayo ngayon itong 3x minus 2y is equal to 3 times negative 5 minus 2 times 7. So, you have 3x minus 2y minus is equal to negative 15 minus 14. You have 3x minus 2y is equal to negative 29. So, we can consider this one as an answer kasi wala nang sinabi kung anong form. Pero to make it sure, sige, pwede naman yung sagot to. To make it sure, sa sagot natin, we can also express this equation in general form wherein you will have 3x minus 2y plus 29 is equal to 0. Either of the two can be used as, a, as an answer kasi wala namang nalagay na... Um, Instruction. Kahit sa pinakaibabaw nung, ano, nung easy round, wala naman. So, that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. Kung meron kayong mga tanong about our solution or the technique na ginamit natin dito, for sure, kayang-kaya nito once na inaral nyo lang. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Don't forget to like, subscribe on my YouTube channel. Thank you.